In this video, I explain Buteco breathing's precautionary measures. Also, how to deal with exacerbations if they occur. In general, people feel good when they practice Buteco breathing. However, there are also cases when a person feels pain or discomfort during the period of practice. For example, people may experience headaches, tinnitus, dizziness, heart pain, and other symptoms. This is not something you should endure. Practice should be suspended if you experience these symptoms and continue it again after a while, after two to three hours. This does not mean that you cannot practice buteco breathing. This is rather necessary. A reaction like this shows how weak organs react to such a small load. Some people experience back pain during practice. You don't have to endure it either. It's because you sit straight, which is uncommon for you. Your back just needs some rest. You can do this by leaning back on a chair and pushing your buttocks deeper into it. As a result, your back will be more or less straight. Adjust the straight posture slowly and gradually, allowing your back to rest. Now I will explain how to handle exacerbations. Despite its rarity, I should warn you about the possibility of exacerbations in the Buteco breathing method. Cardiovascular exacerbations, such as high blood pressure and arrhythmias, are the most common. You may experience an exacerbation if you overload yourself during the training. Obviously, most people want to improve their health as soon as possible and, consequently, overload themselves with practice time and intensity. I have already mentioned in other videos that sessions should be limited in time. Buteco breathing should be practiced for no longer than three hours a day by people with healthy cardiovascular systems. What does it mean? For example, you can practice for 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, and another two hours along with your daily routine, but not more. You don't need to train so much. Don't be afraid. A daily practice of two 15-minute sessions could also lead to noticeable results. It's just about the maximum amount of time. Don't exercise more than that. Cardiovascular disease patients should not practice more than 2.5 hours per day. It may result in overload symptoms otherwise. The general rule is that people with heart problems should enter into practice in short sessions. Initially, I recommend exercising twice a day for 15 minutes. The main recommendation is for those who experience overload or exacerbations to suspend practice for a few days, up to five or six days. After that, start again with short sessions. Start by practicing the right hand rule twice a day for 10 minutes. The next day, 15 minutes twice a day. Slowly increase the session duration to half an hour twice a day. Afterward, add other exercises along with the right hand rule for 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 7 minutes, and so on. You should continue your practice gradually you now know what safety measures to follow and how to handle exacerbations. Having learned more about the Buteco method, you can practice it safely. Please write down any questions you have below the video. I will answer them as soon as possible. This video is a part of my online course on the Buteco method. If you want to learn the practice of the Buteco breathing, watch the complete online course on this playlist. See you soon!